This is a brief follow-up video to my WT7 NIST Debunked Part 1. It's in response to some further questions that I've had uh, on my video regarding the timing of the start of the collapse of the parapet wall. So I decided I'd do just a, a brief investigation focusing just on that aspect of the collapse and not on the overall timing as I did in my first video. I've been able to obtain the footage from the angle that was used in the NIST report, which is different from the video that David Chandler used. What I'd like to show you is quite a bit more detail about how the entire northeast facade of Building 7 starts to collapse. I've prepared a one second clip, which is basically 30 frames, so it's a fairly small amount of time and it shows you quite clearly that there's motion throughout a large part of the building perfectly coinciding with the collapse of the penthouse up above. Now here I've extended the clip another 15 frames and it shows unmistakably how that progressive collapse continues on. It's very dramatic actually. With my previous video and also David Chandler's analysis, you notice we used a different uh, piece of film from CBS and it was taken from a greater distance. It really doesn't resolve the detail of the collapse as well. This should prove conclusively to anyone who doubts the veracity of the timing. Um, this should put that to bed for once and for all. It doesn't really matter whether you're a controlled demolition conspiracy theorist or just an interested observer. Um, you need to get these basic facts straight and there's in my opinion there's been so much absolute nonsense and disinformation out there I, I have to tell you it's rather disconcerting to hear the pronouncements of even some of the leaders of the so-called 9-11 truth movement continue to repeat things that are demonstrably false Now just as a teaser for my upcoming videos where I'm going to spend a lot more time looking at the structural causes of that collapse, not just the video observations, um, I'm going to let you see this really, really good footage of the East Penthouse collapse. And what I noticed when I started watching this a few times from this angle is immediately you notice how there's no windows broken really at this point. Can't see any. There's certainly no squibs popping out and big clouds of thermite uh, uh, popping out of the windows and things like that. There's nothing to observe. Now watch that east penthouse start to collapse and look at what happens directly underneath it. You start to see windows breaking many floors down. You can see that windows have broken many floors down and this is conclusive proof that you have a structural collapse going right down to the to the uh, structural trusses which would be down almost 40 floors below the points that you can see here. Yeah, from the angle that we're looking at this building from, if you look at the east part of the facade there, you're only really looking at 10 to 12 floors visible. You've got many, many floors that you cannot see. But what I'm going to be able to show you is that there's direct video evidence that pretty much is a slam dunk that there was a major progressive structural collapse and there is absolutely not one squib to be seen in those windows and uh, if anyone really thinks there's squibs there they ought to have their eyes thoroughly examined and maybe some other types of examinations of other organs as well um, it just isn't there and I'm sorry if it disappoints people and you know they're gonna have to go and chase another red herring somewhere else but that's just the way it is 